would like to share with you a little lyric that I wrote uh, that sums up the current situation. B-R-E-X-I-T, fed up with Brexit, me three. Trading relations, heading down the Swanee. If it doesn't fit on the side of a bus, let's not say it. Don't make a fuss. Phase one was a floundering mess. The Prime Minister said she did her best. The Irish border was the sticking point, And the DUP, cross-border trade, were told it's possible. It's about wording, you see. A fudge, not a dodge. And as the Right Honourable Lady for Maidenhead really lost the thread, the Brexit spool unravels. Our economy headed south. And what about travel? Blue passports, we're told. Ah, perfect. Imported they'll be. That's me. I'm sold. Choose Brexit. Choose a new queue at the airport. We'll be going through. It's for the next generation of children, I fear. Erasmus. International trade. Travel. will be lost. I shed a tear. LGBT rights, workers' rights, equal pay, all important things. The EU has paved the way. On the night of the referendum and then the next day, promises were made. They were dead straight away. How will history judge our politicians of today? All of us here, not well, I say. Not all of us want to be facing this mess. In Scotland, we voted to stay in. We think it's for the best. So let's get together and stop this guddle. For the sake of our future, we need out of this Brexit muddle. Yeah. Order. Uh, I hadn't expected this part of the proceedings to take quite so long, so I now have to reduce the time limit to seven minutes. Anne Marie Morris. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I will be brief. First of all, Brexit already has been a, a great success, and we have seen great improvements in our economy and uh, great opportunity for many businesses. So I would certainly take issue, despite that wonderful ditty, um, with the sentiments uh, of uh, uh, the, lady, the lady opposite. 